The Democratic Alliance is heading to court against the planned EFF national shutdown on the 20th of this month. The party says it will also press charges against the Red Berets and hold them personally liable for any damage done to persons, property, lives and livelihoods perpetrated during the mass action. Newsroom Africa's Atim Tongana is standing by to give us, to give us more detail. Uh, Ati, you spoke to John Stienhaisen. What did he tell you? Well, you would have seen and uh, heard from this uh, afternoon or this morning when the leader of the official opposition party led the press conference outlining some of the steps that they are taking as the Democratic Alliance against the national shutdown that has been planned by the economic fighters various, and various other stakeholders. And in, in their statement, in response, uh, the EFF, that is, has highlighted the fact that this is not just uh, an isolated event in terms of it being just the EFF. They've noted several other stakeholders uh, that want to form part of the national shutdown in an effort to obviously uh, demonstrate the frustration that South Africans have faced insofar as some of the challenges that emanate from uh, the ruling party, for example, the energy crisis, placing it on the hand and at the doorstep of the ruling party, that being the ANC. Now, what the DA is saying is that they are planning to head to court uh, here in the Western Cape. We know that the Western Cape Premier and the Mayor of the City of Cape Town, they have taken legal steps in terms of approaching the court for an interdict against the, uh, the planned shutdown. We know that also in Gauteng, they will also uh, be filing papers there on an urgent basis as the Democratic Alliance. So we asked uh, John Stenazen about that, the fact that they have also faced a lot of criticism from members of the public who claim that, for example, they marched to Lutuli House not so long ago raising similar issues and recently that picket that they had yesterday. And John Stenazen responded by saying, well, the um, mounting pressure that they are receiving from concerned citizens, including business owners of threats of violence and intimidation, uh, have pushed them to this point. I'd like us to listen to what he had to say earlier on today. We've called on Minister Pele to issue a strong statement against the national shutdown and assure South Africans that the SAPS and the entire security cluster is on standby to respond to violence. Our Shadow Minister of Defence, Corbis Murray, has additionally written to the Minister of Defence requesting them to be on standby. We have also written to President Ramaphosa asking him to issue a stern preemptive warning as the Commander-in-Chief that no violence, vandalism or intimidation will be tolerated. So, in a nutshell, the uh, DA is saying that it is totally against the planned shutdown on the 20th of this month. On the other hand, we have a statement that has been issued by the Economic Freedom Fighters responding to what John Stenazen has announced today in terms of the legal action, the court action that the DA has planned. And they are saying as the EFF that they will not retreat and they will not surrender. They will forge ahead with that national shutdown on the 20th and that what John Stenazen was talking about in that press conference is misguided and it is giving a false impression that the uh, planned shutdown is going to be violent. But all of that do do remains to be seen. As John Stenazen has noted, they have written to the Minister of Police and the Minister of Defence, as well as the President. They have not yet received any responses from law enforcement agencies, neither have they received a response from the President, but they are forging ahead with their planned court action against the EFF, while the EFF says it's not backing down. Mm. Thank you very much, Atin Tonga. And in fact, we'll be speaking to Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis of Cape Town at about lunchtime for more on this development. For now, we say thank you.